zero dimension is a point in space with no length, width, or height. The first dimension has length, like this straight line between two points. The second dimension contains length and width, a flat plane like a sheet of paper. In the third dimension, the dimension we're a part of has length, width, and height. Here we are in the voluminous space we inhabit. But physics and mathematicians ponder, could there be more dimensions hidden beyond our perception, just as a 3D object might bewilder things in a 2D world? The concept of higher dimensions isn't merely philosophical. It has profound implications in physics. The fourth dimension is often introduced as time in the realm of space-time. But today, we'll explore the speculative spatial fourth dimension. Imagine a 3D object like a cube. Now imagine it extending into a direction perpendicular to all the three spatial dimensions. Difficult, right? That's the challenge of visualizing the fourth spatial dimension. One famous 4D shape is the tesseract or hypercube, a cube that extends into the fourth dimension. When represented in our 3D space, it appears to be constantly changing shape, a bewildering illusion of our limited perspective. Quantum physics, particularly string theory, posits the existence of higher dimensions. String theory suggests that fundamental particles are not point-like, but rather tiny vibrating strings. These strings can oscillate in multiple ways, and intriguingly, some vibrations may occur in dimensions beyond our familiar three. Some variants of string theory propose up to 11 dimensions, but why can't we perceive them? One idea is that these extra dimensions are compactified or curled up at scales so tiny that they elude our detection. Just like how a telephone wire looks like a one-dimensional line from afar, but up close, you'd see it's a three-dimensional cylinder. Diving deeper, the concept of higher dimensions spirals into the alluring theory of the multiverse. Imagine our universe as a bubble floating in a higher dimensional space alongside a myriad of other bubble universes, each with its own distinct physical properties. If other universes reside in higher dimensions, they remain imperceptible to us, yet may still influence our universe through gravitational pull or other subtle interactions. The multiverse hypothesis tantalizingly suggests that our universe is not the entirety of existence, but merely a single bubble in a frothy sea of infinite possibilities. Venturing beyond the multiverse, we encounter a concept that teeters on the edge of scientific and philosophical exploration, the mathematical universe hypothesis. Max Tegmark, a physicist at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, proposed a radical idea that our universe is not merely described by mathematics, but is mathematical in its essence. Every structure that exists isn't just modeled by math, it is a mathematical structure Imagine every possible mathematical structure gives rise to a different kind of universe, with our universe being just one amongst an infinite variety. In this sea of mathematical universes, every conceivable structural variation would exist, from the simple to the complex, from the familiar to the bizarre. Here, reality transcends physicality. Universes born from different mathematical frameworks might obey entirely different physical laws or dimensions, challenging our fundamental understanding of reality and existence. The mathematical universe hypothesis prompts us to ponder whether mathematics is a discovery or an invention, and if there might exist realms that are purely abstract and yet, in some sense, real. As we drift further into the theoretical abyss, we encounter the landscape multiverse theory, originating from string theory. This theory suggests that there's a vast landscape of possible universes, each characterized by different physical constants and laws resulting from various vibrations of strings. How did we find ourselves in a universe suitable for life? The anthropic principle steps in, suggesting that we observe and exist in our universe because it's one of the rare bubbles in the multiverse landscape that has the conditions necessary for life. In a universe with different physical laws or constants, we simply would not be here to ask these questions. The anthropic principle raises perplexing questions about the nature of existence and observation. Does our existence and ability to observe the universe illuminate fundamental truths about it? Or are we mere cosmic accidents, 
fortunate to reside in a universe where the conditions are just right for life. Next, we delve into one of the most mind-bending concepts in theoretical physics, the holographic principle. This principle suggests that our perceived three-dimensional universe may actually be encoded on a two-dimensional surface like a giant cosmic hologram. Imagine a holographic sticker. When illuminated, it projects a 3D image. Yet all the information needed to create this image is stored on a 2D surface. Similarly, some physicists speculate that our entire universe might be a projection from information encoded on a distant 2D surface. What does this mean for our perception of reality, space, and existence? If the holographic principle holds true, it could unravel a new layer of reality where information and how it's encoded and processed becomes the fundamental fabric of existence, challenging our notions of space, time, and matter. And finally, what if the underlying scaffold of reality was something profoundly simple and intrinsic? Some physicists have dared to voyage into a theory that suggests our reality and all its complexity and marvel could be fundamentally constructed from bits. No, not the bits of our familiar computer code precisely, but analogous units of information that dictate the nature and behavior of the universe at the most fundamental level. Everything from the grains of sand beneath our feet to the most distant stars in the cosmos could be described entirely by information, by bits. This perspective can be encapsulated in a principle proposed by physicist John Archibald Wheeler, it from bit. In Wheeler's words, every it, every particle, every field of force, even the space-time continuum itself, derives its function, its meaning, its very existence entirely from binary choices, bits. If it from bit holds a kernel of truth, it implies that the essence of the universe, its very fabric, is woven from information. Physical properties like position, velocity, and temperature might fundamentally be expressions of a deeper layer of reality, a reality written in the language of bits. In this context, interactions at the most fundamental level could be perceived as a form of computation. Particles interact, exchange information, and evolve not dissimilarly to a cosmic algorithm, processing and directing the flow of reality. Our understanding and visualization of higher dimensions are constrained by our perceptual capabilities. We interpret the world through our senses and intellect, sculpting a reality that makes sense to us. But science often reminds us that the universe isn't limited to our comprehension. What would a world look like where beings could perceive and interact with the fourth, fifth, or even sixth dimension? These speculations probe not only the nature of the universe, but also the nature and limits of human understanding and imagination. The exploration of higher dimensions unwraps a universe of possibilities that straddle the boundary between science and philosophy. Whether or not these theories prove to be true, they compel us to venture beyond the familiar, to imagine and explore realms beyond our immediate perception, and to always, incessantly, look upwards and outwards in our relentless quest to understand the cosmos. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.